Hello everyone. Welcome to a new topic, direct, direct labor, weight and efficiency variances. How do we compute variances of labor? The very, very basic variances of labor that are labor rate as well as labor efficiency variances. Actually, how do we obtain our labor cost? Labor cost actually uh, will always be uh, the labor rate times the hours of labor paid or worked. Actually, it will, de it will depend. It will depend on the true situation. But actually, uh, in a practical sense, we usually use hours. We usually use our time with hours. So, you could have said labor rate times time of labor paid or, or worked. So, it all depends on the situation. So, the word rate and hours give us the two the variances. When talking of rate, we will obtain our labor rate variance. And when talking of time or hours, we will have the labor efficient variance. So, as we are told here, the variance will be divided into labor rate and efficient variances. The variances definition will be explained in, on the fly in a very precise performance so you, you actually do not need to see everything right now all definitions there is a very very nice performer that will take you uh, all the way so just stay tuned so what in case actual results are poor compared to budgeted results the variances will be adverse and in case they are better the variances will be favorable actually in cost terms we will wish to incur less costs Contrary to revenue terms, where well, we wish uh, to earn more than what we expected. So let's see to the question directly, and then we'll go to a very precise performer that we could use to a lot of other variances. So just stay tuned. Alright. The standard direct labor cost of a product M is as follows. So usually in the question, you will be provided with the standard, but also you will be provided with the actual information concerning the variance one to compute. So we are told, 2 hours of labor per unit of product M at $6 per hour. So these 2 hours of labor per unit represent standard hours, hours per unit, that we have planned before the start of the period. And we expected to pay labor at $6 each hour. Oh, sorry, $6 each hour. Then we are told, during the period, 900 units of product M were made. In the three labor co in, oh, sorry, in the direct labor cost was $8,500 for 200 hours of work. So we are told actually the actual labor cost. And we are also told the actual hours worked. Alright. Required, compute the following. A. Direct labor total variance, direct labor rate variance, as well as direct labor efficiency variance. So, how do we go about this? Let's see the next section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe and spread word about us. Channel name Myla the Hybrid. So, this is our performer. If you look uh, at the first two elements, actual, actual, and here, actual standard. Here we compute the labor rate variance, meaning that this is actual rate and then we have standard rate. So the difference between actual rate and the standard rate is what gives us the labor rate variance. What gives us the labor rate variance and so after taking the difference you can multiply by actual hours and obtain a uh, the labor rate variance but also we have to compute the labor efficient variance and as we say labor efficient variance is all about time so we'll have actual hours and we'll have standard hours for actual output this is a if a means standard hours for actual output meaning that it, these are hours we expected for a given level of output so you have to compare them and in case you actually use less hours, that will be favorable, so we'll have a favorable variance. But we measure them uh, at standard rate, so that's why on the right side, you find here standard and here standard. Let's just work this out and find out everything. So if you multiply hours by, and by rate, you obtain the cost. Now, 
from our question above all right let's proceed also actual hours we are given the question directly that uh 2000 hours will be worked 2000 hours will be worked so that's why the car has got no problem at all but if you go further we'll need to obtain sa sa means as you see here it is in the first row so it means standard hours for actual output so you simply take standard hours times actual output just as the situation speaks for itself how, may, how what are standard hours we are given the question standard hours is two hours of labor per unit so you have two hours of labor per unit you multiply by actual output and we are given actual output is 900 units so if you multiply you obtain the actual you, the hours expected to be used for that output and so we have 1800 hours so just plug it there and then you continue from the question we are also given further information on standard rate we are told by that labor will be paid at six dollars per hour for that standard rate so at six you just put there six on the standard rate side or two sides and then you proceed with the performer we are told that uh, the actual labor cost in card was 8500 so by 8500 you can have your labor cost like that actually when computing variances we just need the values of cost the values at the bottom here so mostly for, for actual cost you will be given the total figure so you have it here then after this you just multiply 2000 and by 6 you obtain 12000 and you multiply 1800 by 6 you obtain 10800 10, then from there you can compute your variances so as we said here the difference between actual rate and standard rate at the same actual hours if you subtract 12,000 minus 8,500 you obtain 3,500 to know whether the variance is favorable or adverse you can just look if 12,000 exceeds 8,500 in the the same hours we are used 2000 here 2000 that only goes to say that the standard rate will be higher than the actual rate i didn't compute it but you can just compute that so if we expected to pay labor at six dollars but we ended up paying labor less than six dollars that means that's favorable we incurred less cost so the variance will be favorable and then on the labor efficient variance case here as you see if you subtract 12,000 and 10,800, you obtain 1,200 dollars, and the variance is adverse. Why? We just compare these two figures here. Actual hours was 2,000, but standard hours for actual output was 1,800. So, from the standard, we expected to use 1,800 hours, but we ended up using 200 more hours. That's too bad because those 200 hours more hours we had, we had to pay labor. So this is how you compute the variances. So to obtain total variance, we just add up the two variances. So 3,500 favorable plus 1,200 adverse. And since they are in opposite direction, this is favorable and this is adverse, you have to subtract. So 3,000 minus 1,200, you obtain 2,300. And the net will be on the bigger side. That will be favorable. Or you can just take this one. 8,500 minus 10,800 so something like that and you are done now there are some cases that uh, hours paid for labor will be different to hours worked for example maybe uh, there are called machine breakdown if there was machine breakdown that means uh, you could have paid labor but labor wouldn't have worked and in that case you have to adjust your performer bit so what do we do when we read that case the performance is just the same as the previous one but only this at this, this these figures at the at the center we just split it up we had actual hours and standard rate but now we have actual standard rate and actual hours standard rate again but here hours paid and here hours worked so you use hours paid for labor rate variance and hours worked for labor efficiency variance and the variance at the top here would arise 
is the result of the difference between actual hours paid for and actual hours worked for. So you just have to compare these two. I, I hope you are together. Just like that. So here you have labor rate variance. Here labor efficiency variance. And that the center here mostly it will be idle time variance. Could be anything but this is common. So I just use this one. But it could be anything. So this is how uh, we go about variances. So just for more information, you are told labor hours paid for and worked for. Labor rate variance is based on time of labor paid for, while labor efficiency variance is based on time of labor worked for. So when the, you are given different hours, you just have to be very careful when computing these variances. Just be careful. Reasons for labor rate variance. Labor rate variance arises at the different Set poorly, maybe too low or too high. You can have rate negotiations before paying labor. It just depends on the bargaining power. If you can bargain better, if the management can bargain better, it will end up paying labor much less rates at much less rates, and the variance will be favorable. So it it really really depends. Reasons for labor efficient variances. Labor efficient variances arises as a result that are uh, expected hours for actual output being different uh, from actual hours. So what could be the reason? Actually, it could be uh, the poor standard standard being correctly set. You could have defective materials. And here you can note, sometimes variances of materials could lead to, uh, favorable variances of materials could lead to adverse variances of labor. Let's say you use materials of poor quality and so uh, the purchase price was much less. So you, end, you ended up having uh, an adverse mater material price variance. But this could have an adverse effect because when working, labor could actually have to use much more hours and so defective materials. Or you can just say quality of materials. If materials have a better quality than what we expected in the standard, you could have actually uh, better results than processing methods. If you have poor processing methods, actually you'll have to use much more hours. And this could be bad because uh, the hours would exceed what the, hours, the number of hours we expected. Then there is something called learning effect on labor. When uh, labor is on something that is as let's say complex and labor is new that means that the first units will take much longer than further units until a certain point in time so if your standard was what did not consider the learning effect but in in the future you'll end up using much less hours on the same products and this could lead to a, a variance thank you so much uh for visiting the channel and uh, you're welcome